Here we have another set of three questions. Short answer. Quiz on exponential functions, right? Now, fraction is something which many students find very difficult and this is to test their ability to deal with fractions. Now to evaluate this, we can write 2 to the power of minus, that means 1 over 2 square, 1 over 2 square is 4, right? Minus anything to the power of 0 is 1, correct? Over, this is 1 over 4, plus 1 over 2, correct? 2 to the power of minus 1. Now we can take 4 as a common denominator, so we get 1 minus 4 over 4, correct? Divided by 4 as a common denominator, 1 plus 2 over 4, correct? So this could be written as 1 minus 4 is minus 3, so we say minus 3 over 4, and here we have 3 over 4, correct? Now this could be, we could, this is divided by this, that means this minus 3 over 4 times 4 over 3, correct? So they cancel out and you get minus 1, so we can write this as minus 1, correct? Now this one, simplify and write as a single power with positive exponents. Make a note of this question also. Simplify and write as a single power with positive exponents, right? So <clears throat> these are some radical functions which you need to simplify and write as a single power. Now let me do question number 17 for you. And we'll start, start from inside out here, okay? So inside is x cubed. So see how we write this. We write this like x cubed, right? And then over that we have half. Do you see half? This is half. And then another half. Radical square root, correct? And then to the power of 1 over 5. Do you see that 1 over 5? It's kind of like this in the exponent form. Now, you know, they all should be getting multiplied. So we say x to the power of, so we have 3 times 1 half, then times half, and then times 1 over 5, correct? So which will give us x to the power of 3 is in the numerator and 2 times 2, 4 times 5, 20. So that's our answer. Okay, so they all get multiplied with one another. The next one is simplify and write as a single power with positive exponents, right? So let's simplify this one. Now, this can be written as x to the power of 8 times 3 divided by 5. Is it okay? And here we have x to the power of 3 over 2. Correct? Now, this is division, so it gets subtracted, right? So we get x to the power of 8 times 3 is 24. So we get 24 over 5 minus 3 over 2. Correct? Now, so we can take common denominator as 10. So we get x to the power of, when we take 10, it's 48 minus 5 times 3 is 15 over 5 times 2 is 10. Is that okay? Now we can do this and we get x to the power of 48 minus 15, right? So 48 minus 5 is 3 and 4 minus 1 is also 3 divided by 10. So you can write divide by 10. Okay, let's write this. So that is our answer, okay? So that is how you need to simplify. Correct? I hope you understand. Let's move on to the next set of questions.